Hey guys, Tacoma Comics here. Um, I got a little bit of everything in this video. I got some new comic book day pickups. I got uh, a back issue run that I got of one of my favorite comics, and I'm going to play with some lighter fluid today. Uh, actually, I'm going to show you how I get those pesky price labels off of comics. Uh, hopefully, it's something you guys will be interested in and find useful. So, uh, for my new comic book pickups, we have a total of three. I got Ironheart number two by Eve Ewing, and I cannot remember the artist's name. Uh, it's a new artist. Um, yeah, I forget that Stan Lee tribute. That's just gorgeous, isn't that? That's really nice. And then uh, let's see if I can get the artist's name. Luciano Beccio, Beccio, Giaffo and Layouts, Matt Miller, color artist, Clayton Cowles on letter, and Eve Ewing is the writer. Oh, Amy Reader did that cover. Nice. I like her work on. Um, Rocket Girl, it's an image series. Anyway, I picked up Ironheart number two. I picked up Deadly Class 36. Rick Remender is back after having consulted on the TV show for about a year, so it's been a while since the last Deadly Class. Um, if you haven't seen the TV show, you can still probably find the pilot episode on YouTube for free, and the pilot premiered on Sci-Fi last night. It is awesome. And finally, one of my old standards, Lumberjanes, is up to issue 58 now. You go Lumberjanes. Um, I just love Lumberjanes. You have to read them and understand the absolute wackiness and goofiness of it um, to understand it. But you also have to understand the, the friendship aspect and the camp aspect, and that's what attracts me. Um, I spent many years at a summer camp. Ooh, scared me, girl. Uh, many years at a summer camp as a uh, director and as a staff member and as a guide and um, really kind of made a lot of strong friendships doing that. So uh, books about camp get me. Um, I get them something like that. I got the second printing of Die number one, amazing book, and the second printing of Ironheart number one. I thought those were worthwhile pickups uh, to add to the PC. Then I went on a little back issue run. This is a series that I've wanted to collect for a while. Uh, no, I've been collecting for a while. I wanted to finish and just half price had gone blank and I'm not about to pay full price for these because um, it's more run fillers than like expensive issues or, or popular issues. So the comment is called DMZ, Demilitarized Zone. It was written by Brian Wood. It came out, ooh, 2000, early 2000s, I'm going to say. I'm not actually sure. And 2009, so late 2000s. Um, this is issue... Uh, issue 45. So it started uh, mid-2000s right through uh, 2010, 2011, I guess. Uh, really great comic, um, really well written, uh, great art from Ricardo Brucchielli, and it's about New York going through, kind of New York State going through a civil war um, and demilitarized zones within New York City. Uh, and that, that's the basis of it. And it, it gets into a lot of social, what is wrong? There's someone outside. Okay. My dog is the best dog. <laughs> guard dog in the world um, sweetest softest sounds until there's somebody around and then you hear this growl like you've never heard right now this is just a light warning anyway um, DMZ great comic need to finish it off went 72 issues I'm missing about half of them this is issue 45 issue number 38 issue number two which I'm really excited about because it's in pretty spectacular condition and it is, uh, without a doubt, um, one of the harder ones to find. Issue 1, they print lots of Issue 1s. They didn't print a lot of Issue 2, especially unless the comic is taken off. Here is 35, 37, 36. And I love when there's an advertisement for Twilight and you realize how old you are. <laughs> And I think we got issue 20 there. Nineteen. Sixteen. A couple came with bags and boards, but I will rebag them and board them because I am obsessive. Issue 47, which I'd really like that cover. Really cool cover. Twenty-one. 14, and issue number 9. So 
that is DMZ. Uh, if you aren't collecting it, don't have any of the key issues or the early issues, I suggest trades. Um, you can get the trades pretty cheap. It's a really, really good read, though. I've always liked Brian Wood's work. Um, the stuff he did on Rebels, uh, is amazing stuff he did on Briggsland is, is amazing. Um, liked a lot of his recent stuff, uh, even though it's not as well known or as popular, I guess. Okay, guys, we have moved because the family's home. Dinner is happening. Taekwondo is happening. Even though my son is not at Taekwondo practice yet, he's still flipping around the uh, living room. My other son is laying on the couch cuddling with the dog. Um, what I'm going to do here is uh, it's okay. I'm going to show you all uh, how I get these pesky price labels off of Half Price comic books. Um, half Price is a great place to find some stealth buys. Uh, you know, my, my chew number one was the only $100 comic I found for like two bucks. But the, uh, the 25 centers that are worth a little bit more or that fill a run you need are, are quite common. So first thing I did is I burned my hands when I tried this. So instead of putting my fingers there like that to try to keep the book flat, I've just made this, cut out a little price tag sized hole, and I put it over there. I'm just gonna put this on high and wave it back and forth for about a minute. I also, because it starts to hurt your fingers even if you get close, I use the knife to hold it down and to warm up the knife. Don't know if you can hear me while I'm doing this, and I don't think it's that exciting. Probably not that exciting for you, but I'm doing it anyway. Go back and forth for about a minute, turn the knife over. This razor blade is uh, getting pretty old, but it, it still works fine. You can see there's a little bit of rust or discoloration on it, uh, but not on the actual blade part or the, the, the thin part where the cutting is done. So. Get this heated up nice and good without getting my fingers burnt. And then we'll give it a try, see what happens. Hopefully this is still in where you can see. I try to keep the blade as long as possible so I have this whole flat blade going through here. This one looks like it's coming off pretty good. I don't know if you can see this this price sticker. It says 1119. That means it's only about uh, two weeks old. The more recent ones are a little bit easier to uh, get off because the glue hasn't dried fully yet. It's still kind of tacky. Now, if you look at this comic, I don't know if you, I can get that in the light. She peed when I came home, so about four o'clock. Pooped. Pooped, I don't know, not when I came home. Sorry about that, guys. So uh, anyway, I can see where the, the sticker gunk is. I don't know if you can see that um, right underneath my finger here. So the next thing I'm gonna do, believe it or not, is I'm gonna take some of my friend lighter fluid. Get a napkin before I ruin the table. And what I'm gonna do here is Take a Q-tip and I just put a little bit on the Q-tip. Don't need a lot. And I'm going to wipe it across and then with the dry side of the Q-tip, I'm really gonna wipe that up. I'm looking very carefully at the Q-tip to see if I get discoloration on it. That means I'm pulling off the ink. Um, if it's too wet, you can do that. Uh, I find that darker colors sometimes do that, though I'm not having that problem here. I can still feel the stickiness when I run over that area, so I'll go by with the wet part a bit more, and I'm just really trying to push that sticker gunk off the edge of the book or pick it up onto the Q-tip. And as I go over my thumb, I feel a little bit more on the corner there. I might have to reload some lighter fluid yeah, right there. If you push too hard, you will take the ink off. 
and that's obviously not good. Now, I know people are worried. First couple times I did this, I put uh, a sheet on the inside, but the lighter fluid doesn't go through. The, uh, it, it evaporates super quickly. So I'd say I'm about halfway through there. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is, uh, it's got a lot of mushy lines now. This thicker gunk I can almost feel is gone, but it still needs some work. Remember, you try this at home, screw up your comic, don't come talk to me. <laughs> so we're not quite done yet. Don't want to get tons of water or lighter fluid on here, but we do want to get enough to really get this gunk to come off. I don't know what it is about lighter fluid. Somebody who's a scientist out there might know, but it seems to do the trick. And as I'm going by with my thumb now, I don't feel much. I feel a little bit, but it's pretty light. Now, if you do use another way to get this off, I don't know if you can see the tip of this. I'm starting to get some black. That's sticker gunk. I know it's not color from the comic book because the comic book itself is dark blue. Well, it's a little bit of black there, but looking at it, it doesn't look like anything's coming off that shouldn't be coming off. No, no colors are blending. So it's pretty darn good. Yeah, I'm going to let that dry, and I think that pretty much is about as good as it's going to get. Um, any more work on it? Yeah, I still feel a little bit of stickiness. So, one last thing that I do, I've seen people push with their thumb to get that stuff off, but that usually makes a mess. This is my son's old burp cloth, and the reason I like using these is because there aren't a lot of, like, um, there aren't a lot of pieces that pull. It's not like a towel. It's a soft cloth, they call it. And so I can just feel a little bit of resistance. I'm really kind of just like rolling that glue off the edge without ruining the comic book. This, by the way, is Dark Rain Young Avengers 2 of 5. Not one of the Young Avengers that is popular or worth a lot. I just figured since I've got both of the series, the original... Um, Heinberg series and the Kieran Gillen series, I might as well go ahead and grab the Young Avengers Presents and the Dark Reign Young Avengers Limited series if I can get them cheap enough. And indeed I did. And I'm looking at that. And I think I got it. It's still a little smushed there. I don't want to waste your time too much with that. I will go back at that after it dries and I can see it more clearly and do a second pass. Uh, here we go. Young Avengers number five. This is the first appearance of the third vision, also known as Iron Lad, who later becomes Kang the Conqueror. I can't believe I just said that phrase, but it is true. Um, that is what they call this. I'll throw that Q-tip out, by the way, because um, nobody wants to have an old Q-tip. I'll use new ones for the next one. And we'll go that this again. Get the knife out, get the knife down. Get the hair dryer on high. That should be good. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and film on a uh, time lapse because I can't imagine anybody watching this all the way through. But if you want to see a bunch of stickers come off in super fast time, that'll be next. So I'm just sliding this back and forth, and I'm changing my angle because the way they design these stickers, there's a little tab in the middle that you can cut under instead of like cut through the middle of the sticker instead of all the way under. And there we go, number two. Like I said, this one is from 1119. So again, it is a pretty um, recent one. And again, I can feel the stickiness. 
there. So here we go. Lighter fluid. Q-tip with lighter fluid on. Wipe a little bit of it off. See, I'm getting a little, sorry, getting a little purple on the Q-tips, and I might be pulling up a couple of these Nicholas, purples. You, you know, we oh, got we'll purple because of Kate Bishop's outfit in this series. Share? If you haven't read the uh, right, Hawkeye series that text, no. Kelly Thompson did, she, um, the have. colorist on that was Jordi Belair, who's one of my absolute favorite sure. artists and colorists. Um, her colors are amazing. And she uh, did this thing with Kate Bishop with the purples and the greens that really, I mean, it, it really brought home the importance of colorists and what they can do to a series. So there's actually the pen lines on this artwork go up in the the pen lines on this artwork go up in the direction that I'm wiping, so I'm going to continue in that direction. This one seems to have come up a bit easier than the last one. I can feel, yeah. No sticker gunk. And if you go in this circular motion, you end up getting rid of the, the wipes. So this one actually came out a little bit easier than the last one. And I can put that into a bag without worrying about getting that sticker gunk on the bag itself, which is really annoying. All right, like I said, I'm gonna um, rush through the next one, uh, the next pile, and just put on time lapse so you guys can watch that. Uh, boom! I thought that was pretty cool. First appearance of Exodus X Factor number ninety-two with the we can't sell our comics anymore. So here's a hologram to make you buy it. Get you zoomed in there as much as possible. Uh, you'll most, uh, most of these, you can't see that there was a sticker there. There's no color stuff. Like this purple one came out pretty awful. I don't know if the lighting is good. That was not a good one. The pink one, a little bit of gunk left. That came out perfectly. That came out really nice. This one already had a crease in it and a little cut up there. This X Factor, the, the thicker, glossier pages usually clean up nicer and this is really nice i'd have to really get a bright light shining on there a tiny bit of gunk left but pretty happy with that happy with that young avengers and happy with that dark rain young avengers but you can see where the paper is kind of pushed up we'll have to get this in a nice bag and lay it flat and some other comics pushing against it and there's still a little bit of gunk on there might do a second pass on that one otherwise pretty happy with it let me know in the comments what you guys do to get your books clean, get your stickers off, if that's a problem for you. I'd love to have uh, some alternate suggestions in case this method doesn't work. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.